Hey guys, so today I'm working on a problem on this 2006 325i E90. Uh, there's a common problem a lot of these cars have. At some point, you'll get water in the car, whether it be on the passenger side, driver side. The problem with this car that's very, very common on all these cars is that the door leaks water from the vapor seal. When you take off the door panel, you see this big thing here that's the vapor seal and if you peel it off you'll see that there's this sticky stuff on it i have it in a ball over here because i'm cleaning it up to apply some new stuff what ends up happening is it'll leak down right here it'll be broken right here water will enter from the door frame here when it's raining when you wash your car and instead of coming out the back drain right here it will come out through here and then it will leak into the car so that's what happened on this car the vapor barrier broke along here and then it leaked water into the car front back there was a puddle back there so i have hair dryers running to dry that all out and so it's a common problem sometimes you replace a window motor and the guy who did it didn't reseal it back you should replace it almost every time. It's never right to just reheat it and redo it because there's always a break in it usually. Uh, a good way to test if that's the problem, like I said, is just run some water with a hose up along here and then look with your door panel on and there should be water dripping out through here. And so to fix that, what you need to do is go through a few steps. First, you gotta remove your door panel. Uh, you pop off this trim right here and then deep up inside here, there'll be four screws. They're T15 Torx or T20, depending on what screw is used on your car. You loosen those screws, and then you just put your hand or a little flathead or the door panel remover tool behind and pop all those clips out. Then take out the connections for the speaker, take out the connections for the uh, window buttons, and take out the connection for the map light that's under there. And then you'll access this, you peel this off completely, and you really have to clean this all up nicely. I'm gonna go through here and take all this stuff off, all the old stuff. And then what I'm gonna do, make sure you take it off this too. You see all that stuff, make sure it's all nice and clean, is apply the new stuff. This is what most people use, 3M window weld ribbon sealer. It's, as you can see, it's the same type of material, sticky, it's double-sided, and you can you get this size right here, 3 8 by 15. I think you use about 10 foot per door, so this is more than enough for the one door. Uh, you can buy it at Advanced. I got it for about 20 bucks at Advanced. You can buy it on Amazon, AutoZone, just about anywhere. So I'm going to go ahead and clean this all up and then show you guys how to apply it to fix the problem. So once you clean up the area, what you're going to want to do next is take this out of the packaging. And as you can see, it's very sticky. You take it out and you follow. There should be a little bit left. I didn't clean it up completely perfect. It's not necessary. Just to get most of it off. Um, follow that line all the way across with this. And then we'll put the vapor barrier back on. All right. So as I said... You put it all the way around the door. And what you're gonna wanna do is go in there and just push it tight against the door. Leave this stuff on so you can push it, you know, so you don't get it all over your hands and make a mess of it. And have a ending point that's probably better to meet here. And make sure this gap is nice and there's no way water could get through there. And then what you're wanna gonna do next is take that and start peeling it off all the way around then make sure you clean which I have to do next the vapor barrier and then you're going to apply the vapor barrier to that another thing to note is there's plenty left over probably almost half a roll so you can do at least another door maybe both back doors or maybe just one front passenger door which is a good thing all right as you guys can see I removed the front paper off of it and now before applying the vapor barrier back, I took a hair dryer to it and just heated it up slightly more just so it could stick even a little bit more. 
and now I'm going to go and apply the barrier back onto it. All right, so as you guys can see, we're spraying water right there. Plenty of water. And if you come down here, it's completely bone dry. We've been spraying it for the past minute. There's nothing coming out of there. It's coming out normally out of its channel back here and nothing is coming out of there. So the problem is fixed. So now we're gonna put the door panel back together. All right guys, so make sure when you put the door panel back on that all the clips go into place. It's important because those help out seal water as well. And then you have to put back those three screws right there. And then you'll pop the trim back on and the door will be completed. All right guys, so you'll end up getting it all back together, door panels back on. I dried out the carpet for a good day and a half between blow drying it and let the letting the sun take care of it. Um, and after that, it should be solved. You can go in and do all the other doors. I wouldn't do so most of the time that that happens is because somebody else goes in there, changes out a window motor, and just puts the original seal back on there. So if you got if it helps you out, feel free to give the video a thumbs up and feel free to subscribe. Thanks.